I'll keep this in mind. Episode three, this is coming one. Now, right now, actually, we'll be split into different parts. You know, the first part we'll cover. Now, episode three is about pre-trip. So the first part will cover the engine compartment and the driver door fuel area. Part two will cover the coupling area and the trailer. So yep, look forward to that. So it'll be two parts. So let's begin with the first part. What's up, man of Steel 094, and I'm back with episode 3. Uh, this is episode 3 of my trucking vlog. I'm going to cover the pre trip, especially with you guys. Now, keep in mind, I, I posted episodes 1 and 2. You can check those out, and, and when you're ready, you can come to episode 3 just to give you the idea of what we're dealing with here. Alright, so let's begin with the pre trip. Very first thing, very absolute first thing with your pre trip pre-tripping a semi-truck or pre-tripping a bus this is basically a similar task so the first thing you want to do you want to look underneath the vehicle you want to check for leaks look for puddles as you can see we're not leaking and we're not tilting we're not leaning to side to side that's kind of thing you want to look out for leaks and leaves all right now we're going to go on to the to the engine compartment. You want to start on the passenger side here. First thing you want to check is the general hoses. Anything that's a hose, you check that. Make sure they're properly mounted and secured at both ends. No abrasions, bulges, or cuts, and not leaking. And now, now staying with the passenger side, we also want to check our, our belt-driven alternator. It's properly mounted and secured. It's not cracked, bent, or broken in the belt. It's not ripped or frayed. Free play is half to three quarters of an inch. Let's go on to the other side. Now the driver's side, you want to start with the same thing. You want to start with the general hoses on the driver's side. Once again, anything that's a hose, you check it. Once again, properly mounted and secured at both ends. No abrasions, bulges, or cuts, and not leaking. All right, we got the hoses out of the way. We're gonna start over here. This is the cooler, the coolant reservoir. It's properly mounted and secured. Not cracked, down or broken. Not leaking. It filled to manufacturer specifications. Now we're gonna go down to here. I know I'm going out of order here, but just bear with me. It's still part of the uh, pre-trip. Power steering fluid reservoir. You can tell what it is because you can read it on the cap here. It's probably mounted and secured, not cracked, bent, or broken, not leaking, and again, built to manufacturer specifications. So this yellow thing here, this is the oil oil dipstick. You would check your oil gauge to make sure that it's filled to manufacturer specifications. Now keep this in mind. When you're taking your CDL test and you come to your, your oil gauge, you want to pull that, pull that out, wipe it off. Put it back in, and you'll see that it's uh, filled to manufacturer specifications. You would just put it back right in that hole. Now these two parts are kind of hard to find, but they're back here. So I'll point in the general direction where they where they ought to be, right in this back in here somewhere. They're they're hiding from you, but they're here. They're both gear driven, and you want to start with the gear driven power steering pump. It's probably mounted and secured. It's not cracked, bent, or broken, and not leaking. Then I believe next to it, we got the gear-driven air compressor. It's properly mounted and secured. It's not cracked, bent, or broken. And forgive me, I did miss a part over here. The, the belt-driven water pump. I missed that part earlier, but good thing I caught that. It's properly mounted and secured. Not cracked, bent, or broken, and not leaking. And once again, you want to check the belt on the same, same thing as the same thing as the alternator over there. You want to check the belt over here. That it's not ripped or frayed. And free plate is half to three quarters of an inch. So when you come to the belts, that's what you want to say. All right, got those things hiding back there. So we're going to go ahead and move to this thing right here. 
The spring hangers and mounts are properly mounted and secured at both ends. No abrasions, bulges, or cuts. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Not cracked down or broken. And no missing mounting bolts. The leaf springs. Properly mounted and secured at both ends. Not cracked, down or broken. And not shifted. And the U-bolts, that's what these things are here. U-bolts are properly mounted and secured. Do not crack, bent, or broken, and none missing. All right, we move back up. Move back up to the steering part. This is the, this is the power steering gearbox. It's properly mounted and secured. Not crack, bent, or broken. And because this hose runs to it, it's not leaking. Then we got the steering linkage. Uh, there's lots of airports nearby and they fly low here a lot. Okay, so, so we got the power, uh, I'm sorry, got the steering linkage. It's properly mounted and secured, not cracked, bound, or broken. You want to name all the parts too. The pitman arm, drag link, and if I can get it back there, tie rod. And you also want to check for the castle nuts and carter pins. What? What's up? Here. Mm -hmm. Isn't that it? No, that's 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 this bar here. Oh, wow. I yeah, that wrong. I'm sorry. All right. Yep. See, you learn something new every day. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now, now you name all three parts. You just, you also gotta find out where your cotter calcium cotter pins are. There are three of them. There's one here. One here. Another one hidden back here somewhere. Right in there, you should be able to see it. Right there. Yep, they're not, they're not crash brand or broken, and they're none missing. All right, now I got the shock absorber. That's what this big tube is here. The shock absorber is properly mounted and secured at both ends. Not crash brand or broken, and it carries liquid, so not leaking. <clears throat> now I got the brake hoses in line. This is the hose, this is the line. They're properly mounted and secured at both ends. No abrasions, bulges, or cuts, and not leaking and follow it down to the brake chamber. Brake chamber is properly mounted and secured. Not cracked, bent, or broken, and not leaking. You got the slack adjuster and push rod, properly mounted and secured. Not cracked, bent, or broken. For the brakes released and pulled by hand, the rod should not move more than one inch. Now you need to come back here a little bit for this part. <coughs> All right. You got the brake drum. Brake drum right here. Properly mounted and secured, not cracked, burned, or broken. And we got the brake lining, which is properly mounted and secured, not cracked, burned, or broken, no loose oil or debris, and friction is not worn dangerously thin. Now we're gonna talk about the steer tire. It's pop right, the steer tire is made of rubber, just like the hoses. So no abrasions, bulges, or cuts, and not leaking air. And fill it to manufacturer specifications, you will check that with an air gauge. The tread depth. It's 432 seconds of an inch. All right, now that, we're, now that we're still on the wheel, we go down to the rim. That's a bit, this big metal part is here. The rim is properly mounted and secured. It's not cracked, bent, or broken. No illegal holes or welds. The lug nuts, properly mounted and secured. They're not cracked, bent, or broken. None missing. No rust trails or powder residue. Axle seal or hub seal, properly mounted and secured. Not cracked, bent, or broken. Not leaking. It filled to manufacturer specifications. And no missing mounting bolts. Alright, well that's it for your engine compartment. Now let's go back here to the driving door and fuel area. Now, now this door will not open unfortunately, but we're going to pretend it does. So we'll get to that in a second. The mirrors. We will start with the mirrors here. They're properly mounted and secured. Not cracked, bent, or broken. They're clean. Now the door is properly mounted and secured, as well as the hinges. There's a hinge here, there's a hinge here. They're probably mounted and secured, not cracked, bent, or broken. The door opens, closes, and latches properly. And just inside the door is the weather seal. It's made of rubber, so no abrasion, falls or cuts. No, no signs of no signs of brakes, tor tears, or dry rocks. Now we got the fuel area. Fuel tank is properly mounted and secured, not cracked, bent, or broken, and not leaking. The cap, the cap is not broken or cracked, 
and it's on tight. Okay, we're gonna go behind the tractor. We're still on the door fuel area here. So basically this covers the entire tractor. And I'm gonna start down in here. That's the exhaust pipe. It's properly mounted and secured. Not cracked, burned, or broken. Not leaking. No illegal holes or welds. And we got the drive shaft. It's properly mounted and secured at both ends. Not cracked, bent, or broken, and not twisted. The catwalk and the steps. Properly mounted and secured. Not cracked, bent, or broken. Free of oil or loose debris. And no missing mounting bolts. Frame and cross members. Properly mounted and secured. Not cracked, bent, or broken. No missing mounting bolts and no missing cross members. We got the torque arm. It's properly mounted and secured at both ends. Not cracked, bent, or broken. And we got some more brake hoses here. They're probably properly mounted and secured at both ends. No abrasions, bolted or cuts, and not leaking. Now we got the spring hangers and mounts. They're properly mounted and secured at both ends. Not cracked, bent, or broken. No missing mounting bolts. The spring arm. That's what this is here, the spring arm, properly mounted and secured at both ends. Not cracked, bearing or broken. All right? And remember this part here, the shock absorber. It's properly mounted and secured at both ends. Not cracked, bearing or broken, and not leaking. The airbags, properly mounted and secured at both ends. Not cracked, bearing or broken. They're broken, no abrasions, bolts, or cuts. Not leaking, and no missing mounting bolts. And just like the ones up there, we have U-bolts. U-bolts are properly mounted and secured. Not cracked, bent, or broken, and none missing. Now, it's per there's a part that's difficult to find back here, but it's here. The slack adjuster or push rod. I know it's here somewhere. He, he might, the cameraman might point in the general direction. Yeah. <laughs> Use that one right there. Right here? Yeah. Okay, thank you. I had a hard time finding this <laughs> earlier. Okay, we got a slack adjuster push rod. Properly mounted and secured. Not cracked, bent, or broken. And once again, just like before, with the brakes released and pulled by hand, the rod should not move more than one inch. Okay. And remember this part here too. The brake drum. Hold on, sorry. We'll get to that in a second. The brake chamber. Almost forgot that part. It's properly mounted and secured. Not cracked, bent, or broken. And not leaking. All right, now we got the brake drum. It's properly mounted and secure, not cracked, bent, or broken. Now, the brake lining, it's up here in this wheel. It's properly mounted and secured, not cracked, bent, or broken. And friction is not worn dangerously thin, no oil or debris. All right, and, and we're gonna continue with the wheel section. This is the drive tire, that's the steer tire. I'm gonna start with the tread depth on this one. The tread depth of this drive tire it's 232 seconds of an inch. And once again, the tire is made of rubber, so no abrasion bolts or cuts, and not leaking air specifically. And fill it to manufacturer specifications. How will we check that? We'll check it with the air gauge. Okay, now, the rim. Remember the rim. Properly mounted and secured. Not cracked, bent, or broken. No illegal holes or welds. The lug nuts. Properly mounted and secured. Not cracked, bent, or broken. None missing. No rust trails or powder residue. Axle seal or hub seal. Properly mounted and secured. Not cracked, bent, or broken. No missing mounting bolts. Not leaking. And fill it to manufacturer specifications. Alright, so I think that'll do for this part. Episode 3, will, I forgot to mention earlier. Episode 3 will be split into different parts. The first part, we just covered the engine compartment and we we'll drive into a fuel area. The next couple parts, next part. Part two, we'll cover the coupling area and the trailer. With that said, I'm gonna go ahead and call out part one here. So stay tuned for part two. And I've got the mud flaps. They're probably mildly secured, they're not cracked, they're broken, not sagging too low.